Hello, 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 my beautiful followers. Welcome back to my page. So I've been seeing that this is kind of like a pretty popular thing, a mukbang. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a Chipotle one and have story time. I'm gonna talk about my birth experience, my baby, he just turned four months. So let's dig in. So I went ahead and got the chips. I postmated too because it's raining and really gloomy outside. Didn't feel like going out, getting the baby ready, and I just don't want him to get sick. Like, that's kind of a thing I'm obsessing over right now. Oh, and guac. Mm. So, the new mommies know. I know I'm just being like a little overprotective, but let's dig into it. Can you guys see? Mmm. You know what? I'm just gonna put the chips. Throw the chips out. Yeah. Getting the lighting right. Anyways, so. I didn't want to go out. I postmated it super easy. They were here in like 20 minutes, if that. So, that looks delicious. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. The first bite is for you guys. Mm. Where do I start? I always like look at the burrito and like where do I start? And I don't like actually all of this. Hold on. My bad. I don't like all that. So if you hear my baby. I will pause to check on him. First bite is always so crucial. Mm. Anyway, so let's get down to it. I had Cyrus August 14th, 2019. Best day of my life. And also nerve wracking day. So what I have in here is chicken, white rice, pinto beans, salsa, corn, sour cream. Mm. And cheese. August 13th, <clears throat> I was taking a bath. I got out the bath, was laying down, relaxing, and I started feeling something like period cramps. They would go in, go out, go in, go out. Like every five, 10 minutes. I knew I was in labor. I did not want to go to the hospital because I knew my doctor wasn't there and I wanted her, I wanted her to be there to, if I had Cyrus. Obviously I would have went if my water would have broke, you know, anyways. Mm. I'm feeling them, I'm feeling them, I'm feeling them. I'm walking around the room. Tommy is knocked out. And 
my Carmen, you got eight hours to, you know, do this because it was like midnight. You know, I wish I was recording it, but oh well. I'm bending over, I'm on my knees, and just trying to let the time go by. Come 4 a.m., four hours of feeling like this. My water broke. I didn't know it broke. It didn't break like in the movies, right? It didn't break like, break like in the movies. It was just coming out, like, so I put a pad on. I'm sorry, TMI. And it's just soaked with like water-like substance. So 6 a.m. comes around and I'm like, okay, I'm for sure my water broke. I think at 7 a.m. I called the, I called my doctor's office. And they told me to come to the hospital. Mind you, the next day, I was supposed to get induced. We're packing our bags, getting everything ready, set up. Walking into the hospital, my water breaks. Mm -hmm. Now I'm running in because I'm wet everywhere. And that was like a big splash. <clears throat> that was a big splash. I go in, they check me, they said, yes, for sure, your water broke. I'm like, it's been breaking all night, almost since 4 a.m. I just thought, I don't know what I was thinking. Pregnancy brain is real, for those, for those of you that don't know. Mm. We get there. I'm trying to have regular no C section. Everything's going good. I went till I was five, almost six centimeters, and I had to get that withdrawal. The nurse leaves. I said, this baby's still five centimeters. He was there for like an hour or two. And I know this doesn't seem long, but when the other set of nurses came, <clears throat> literally, she said his heart rate is not, kept dropping. So then she said, I'm gonna call the doctor and we're gonna go ahead and figure out what she wants us to do. So, so then <clears throat> his heart rate keeps dropping, keeps dropping, keeps dropping. You know, the nurses are running in. It's starting to get in intense. doctor ends up coming in and she's like I know you didn't want to get a c-section I'm already crying scared to death no, I've never had any surgery nothing like been under nothing and she's like I'll give it like five more minutes if he's heart keeps dropping I'm gonna have to um you know do an emergency c-section hmm I love the middle. Five, ten minutes come. 
They put me in, get me all ready, do some more epidural. Everything. It was crazy. They got me in at 11 and my baby was born. Oh, I'm sorry. They got me in at nine. My baby was born at 9-11. That's how fast they did it. They got him out. Did I say I had guac in there too? Mmm. I was so shaky. I didn't even want to hold him. We did skin to skin, but I was so shaky. I was so scared holding him. I felt so weak holding him. And everyone was in the room. And I was after they stitched me up and put me back. I made sure to do skin to skin, but man, being under all those drugs. I felt like myself like an hour later. I felt like myself again. I can never eat a whole burrito. I could feel myself getting full, full already. Anyways, it was the most beautiful night, beautiful day, most beautiful day of my life. I said, whatever. The C-section, if anything, I got to see my baby sooner and he was healthy. That's all that mattered to me. That's all that mattered. My mom was, my mom, my dad, my brother, Excuse me, everyone was there. My, par uh, my parents in law were there. It was just a beautiful, beautiful day. So I tell moms, you never know, like birthing, like having a birthing plan is all okay, I did. It never goes as planned. I mean, I can't say never. I'm sure it does, but you never know. I was going to the gym. I was eating right. I worked until I was like seven and a half months. I do a lot of walking. I just never thought I was going to get a C-section. But like I said, it wasn't too bad. I think it's just because I walked in with an idea of how it was going to go and it went the other way. I'm not sure if I want to have any more kids. I mean, maybe it's too soon to tell, but... They're such blessings. I'm actually gonna do a another video. Like a four month video or something. Mm. I'm getting pretty full, y'all. So I'm thinking about doing more of these story time monk bonks. I think I'm saying it right. I hope I am. Please like, please subscribe. I'm trying out this YouTube thing. I'm new. There may be a lot of like weird edits and stuff. I just started learning how to work all that. Thank you all for your support. 
be safe out there in this rain. Okay guys, that's it for my video. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, please subscribe and like. I appreciate it. I'll see you guys in the next one.